Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the Mother Regeneration card over here. And uh, this is like the Queen of Wands. And you can see a lot of personal power coming to you. You can see the, the um, Crown Chakra opening and the universe giving you that power that you need. Uh, power of mind or power over that situation. So your empowerment is coming back to you and you are regenerating after coming through a difficult period. Above this, you've got the uh, pleasure card, which is the sun in Scorpio. And this is, you know, uh, focusing on things that make you happy. You, you can see this woman's got the sun over here. So with this fire card, as well as the sun card, um, you know, the sun um, coming in above your head over here in this uh, six of seas, which is this um, six of cups, really. It looks like things are going to be heading your way and, you know, new, uh, you're getting empowerment you're, um, you're arising above the situation and personal power coming into you that brings you a lot of happiness. You've got the Ace of Earth over here, which is the Ace of Pentacles, so manifestation. And because you are getting that personal power back, you are going to be able to manifest the things that you want in your life. So this could be in the form of a new job. This could be new money. This could be, uh, you know, a change in your financial status into something more positive. And you're getting a lot of ideas, but you're also getting a lot of power in order to bring those ideas into fruition. Now, in the past, you had um, the King of Earth over here, which is the card ruled by Taurus here. So this is taking control of your personal wealth or your personal um, belongings or, you know, all, anything that was material to you. Um, and this is ascension and this is rising above that uh, financial problems that you're going. So you're, um, you know, you're getting back on track as far as your finances go. You've got the child card over here, which is like the page of Earth over here. So there might have been some news coming in about a new job, new money. Maybe you got a promotion over here with this crown card. Uh, you know, uh, something where, um, uh, you know, you've got a, a position of authority or you're in um, some kind of a role where you are leading a lot of people as well. And you had news about that particular job. Uh, you started something brand new and it's something that you're going to, uh, you're working on so that it would grow so, you know, you may have started this new job and, you know, it, it looks like there's a lot of room for, um, you know, um, advancement in this particular career. So something brand new came along the, the work front, along the, the money front. So going into the future, you've got the Sorceress over here and the Innocence Child card over here. So the Sorceress card ruled by Mercury here, and this is the Magician, and this is being able to manifest anything that you want. You can see there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of fire over here in this card. So whatever you set in your mind to, especially since it's following the Mother uh, Regeneration card, and that, that fire theme is being, you know... Um, this is uh, the same, it's been reflected in this particular card as well. It looks like whatever you decide to do in this new job is going to be able to um, come into your arena. And it looks like you have all the skills and talents that you need. So you are well trained up to do this particular job. And it's going to, you, um, you're going to be pretty busy as well soon because you're going to be with um, uh, Mercury in the, in play, at play here. It means you're going to be using your mind a lot, learning a lot of new things, but also communicating with a lot of people and being very busy. So make sure you are managing your time quite well. So whatever you are doing, you've got this Child Innocence card over here, and you can see there's a little a seed here, and there's a new a child in it. So whatever emotional turmoil you're going through, uh, you know, you are well protected from it. You are protecting yourself, but also uh, this is a card of regeneration. So uh, whatever plans and ideas that you have in your mind are going to be able to take root and grow. So you know exactly what you want to do. You have ideas and it's about time that things are going to start growing and that they're going to start um, budding. So this is the card of something brand new beginning for you. And you are starting from in a brand new place because it's the child card and it is something that is going to blossom and bloom. So your your life, although you have come through a lot, a lot of problems, it looks like there's a, a, a good turn of events over here. It looks like you are now starting to move in a positive direction as far as finances goes, as far as your material wealth goes, but also you're getting that power back in your hand again. You're taking control of the situation. And once you take control, you will be able to manifest everything and anything that you need. So these are the energies for that week. It's, it looks like you've reached that turning point where things are starting to look up now. 
So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Mythical Goddess Tarot. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands. So this is usually a card that speaks about a lot of information coming in your way and you getting very, very busy doing things, uh, you know, having to handle a lot of things. But this is also a card showing that you need to adapt to the situation. You need to change. You need to go with the flow uh, in order for you to avoid any kind of problems. So you can see this woman's wrapping herself around these wands that are coming to her. So whatever problems... Uh, you are going to be facing or any challenges that come your way, you are ne you're going to have to really think outside the box and really manipulate yourself into a situation where you can avoid um, all the problems. So you're going to have to adapt, change the way you do things in order for you uh, not to have any problems, um, not to experience the difficulties. So you will be able to sort that out. Uh, this is like trying to, you know, almost weave your way around obstacles, around problems, uh, you know, ducking and diving, if you like. So this is about trying to just avoid conflicts, avoid challenges, uh, rather, you know, try to find an alternative route of doing things, a different way of doing things in order for you to get, um, you know, uh, get through any kind of problems. And this is usually also a card of a lot of communication. There might be some travel that's coming your way. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a card of also being really, really busy doing a lot of things. So there's a lot of challenges that you are facing, but you're going to be able to be successfully, um, you're, uh, you're successfully uh, going to um, manipulate, manipulate your way around any kind of problems that you are dealing with. Got tongue twisting problems myself today. So, you know, just try and avoid any kind of problems. You know, um, if there's any fighting or uh, somebody presenting any kind of uh, challenge to you, uh, you know, uh, pick your battles wisely and, uh, and try and find an alternative means, uh, a diplomatic way of dealing with that situation. So you've got the uh, Eight of Cups over here. This is walking away from very, very difficult situations. And it looks like you had a lot of problems, a lot of uh, challenges with this Ten of Wands. It's having a lot of burdens and responsibilities and, you know, facing a lot of problems and finding your way around it. Now, it looks like you're going to be walking away from that kind of situation because this card, the Ten of Wands, is crossing this Eight of Cups over here. So whatever problems and challenges you are dealing with or have dealt with, you have made up your mind and you are moving away from it. So, uh, you know, you could be uh, leaving that situation physically or even emotionally uh, detaching yourself from it and uh, not um, taking it so much to heart as you did. So you were, um, you know, very burdened by all these uh, different challenges that you were facing, but it seems like, you know, you are, um, you're managing to, um, to sort things through. So you are adapting to that particular situation or you are adapting to change or you are trying to work ways out um, uh, come to terms with it and also find different ways on how to deal with things. So you are um, uh, sorting through it in your own way. So in the past, you've got the Eight of Swords over here, and this is having, you know, reached a very, very difficult situation where, you know, it's almost like... Uh, at a point where you're between the devil and the deep blue sea, really. Uh, so, you know, he's at the ed edge of a cliff. He's got uh, swords at one point, and then there's a cliff at the other edge. So this is where you felt that you were at. You know, you were at your wit's end. Um, you know, things were, there were a lot of stresses. Maybe there were a lot of problems that you were dealing with. And you were really, uh, you know, you felt as though you um, had so many obstacles, and it was a, a, a point where you didn't know what to do. So feeling very restricted, very tied up, uh, you know, your hands and feet tied up, don't really know how to move forward and having faced a lot of problems and a lot of difficulties and maybe dealing with a lot of difficult people as well. So really you had reached, you know, almost the edge of where you could go. They're taking you to your limit. And that's been happening in the last year. It, it seems like, you know, you've been through a lot of problems. So you've got the sun card coming in in the last three months. So things are becoming clearer to you. And there's a lot of victory. There's been a lot of messaging as well. And, you know, you're managing to find your way through all this, these hurdles. 
So you are, you can see he's walking through this really thick wheat field over here, and he's finding his own path. So you are making inroads yourself. You're finding solutions to your problems yourself. There might be a lot of communication that you're dealing with as well. Uh, this could be a card also that, you know, there may have been some travel uh, that you have undertaken recently. But this is about being victorious, managing to find your own way. This is uh, finding your own, making your own pathway in life and not relying on anybody else's opinions. So you you are getting to things and you're doing it in your own style, which is very important. You got the Ten of Cups over here, crowning the, the reading, and this is what's in your mind. And this is about getting over obstacles and difficulties and coming through, uh, you know, ending old emotional cycles or emotional pain that you've gone through. You've got the rainbow over here, so you have the worst is behind you now, and you are now ready to end this uh, all the upset that you've been through and move on. There might be somebody around you that is helping you or supporting you through this particular difficulties, but you have now made up your mind that you are you've had enough and you've finished with that particular cycle and you're ready to move on now you've got the emperor card over here and this is taking control of that situation making sure that you are in charge um you know you could even be dealing um you could be dealing with an aries or a scorpio person with this emperor card but this is you taking control of that situation focusing yourself and focusing all your energies on the task at hand and sorting through things you could also be in some kind of leadership position where you are telling people how to do things or you are in charge of a lot of people with the emperor card this is about also uh, handling your finances and your resources with great authority so you are taking control of that situation again it seems like with all these cards so far you have you know you had reached the you know a point where uh, you didn't know what to do you couldn't move forward and you couldn't move backwards but it seems like in the last few months you are now finding that you know if you rely on yourself and you do whatever is important to you you are now beginning to make uh, your own path in life and you are ending cycles. You are ending all those difficulties and those responsibilities. You are walking away from difficult situations. And emotionally, you're getting on top of things as well. Even with this Eight of Wands, you're adapting to it. So none of these rods are stabbing this woman over here. You can see she's uh, managed to manipulate herself so that she can deal with those challenges that she's facing. And now you've got this Emperor card over here. And this is taking that control back, being very, very focused and having that authority to deal with that situation. So you're coming out of a very very difficult situation you've got the three of wands over here so you are waiting for things to happen as well <coughs> this is also reflecting a lot on the past looking to the past and making plans for the future and um, you know you can see she is um, you know waiting waiting for things to change and waiting for um, you know uh, whatever she's done to take effect so you have got some plans in your mind you've put them out there and now you're waiting for things to change so what's happening around you? You've got that Ten of Pentacles over here. So you may have come through a very difficult um, family situation. So this could have been, uh, you know, you may have come through a divorce or you may have come through some kind of separation. You may have even ended an, oh, a, a job that you were doing for a long time. And so this is another ending of a cycle. So there was something uh, in your finances that caused a, a change in your finances. So whatever you've been doing in the last year, that particular situation has now come to an end with this Ten of Pentacles and you're going to be starting something brand new. Now you could have even gotten a payoff as well uh, after finishing that particular job or that particular uh, family situation. So if you were divorced, there could have been a payoff from that, a settlement coming in with this Ten of Pentacles. But that ho whole cycle uh, that you, that the way that you handled your finances pre previously has now come to an end or the way you dealt with finances previously has now come to an end and you're going to be starting something brand new. So this could be moving on to a new job or this could be even, you know, moving, uh, departing from um, a joint financial situation into something where you're now financially independent. But there has been some kind of payoff that has come in there with that Ten of Pentacles. It's also the end, you know, it was something to do with the family as well, uh, because this is also a family card. So this is why I say this could have been a divorce that you had dealing with. And, you know, maybe you're just tying up loose ends at the moment. Now, you've got the Four of Swords over here. And what you want to do is take a little bit of a break and get some healing uh, get some perspective on what he's doing. So this is really a healing card. And this is, you know, making, taking a break from whatever has been going on. That's what you want to do. That's in your hopes and fears. So going to the future, you've got the hermit over here, the priest, 
and you've got the justice card of here. So the hermit is being focused again. So you're finding uh, a new focus in life, and this is usually about focusing on your work. Well, the hermit is spending a lot of time by yourself, maybe meditating. Uh, not all people meditate, but you know this is about going through things in your mind, focusing uh, on things, and this is also about learning. So you could be undertaking some brand new course, or um, you know focusing on um, um, improving your skill set. Uh, so this is all about uh, getting new information, new learning coming in for you. And then you've got the priest over here, and this is about also knowledge and learning. Uh, with the priest, uh, which is like the high priestess card, which is, who keeps is the keeper of, of the keys of knowledge. So this is about uh, wanting to take up some new skill, or this is about focusing on new education and learning. Uh, this is also about, you know... Um, Keeping being a lot by yourself because with the priest card, uh, the high priestess is it's somebody who tends to spend a lot of time by themselves and you know going inward to find the answers. So you could be focusing a lot of on on learning or study, and you could also be focusing on uh, spending a lot of time by yourself doing this particular task. Um, this is also a card that says you know not a lot of things have been revealed to you. There are still some hidden things uh, that you should be aware of uh, that that will eventually come to light. Um, this is also being given a lot of spiritual advice or going and seeking some kind of spiritual advice. You can see this man is going to the priest to get blessed. So you can say, you know, it's about, um, you know, receiving uh, some kind of guidance as well. You're at that phase right now. And you've got the justice card of here, and this is focusing on a particular task at hand. So after going through a lot of hardships, and, you know, there's a lot of, been a lot of tears. You can see this is a very dark card. It's a lot of rain falling. It looks like you will refocus your energies. Now, you could also be dealing with some kind of legal situation that is finally coming to an end, uh, or there, there's some kind of legal decision um, that will be made. So you could be dealing with the justice system in itself. You've got the scales in the back over there. And maybe this is something that has been, uh, you know, whatever legal situation you were dealing with caused a lot of problems. And now you're refocusing your attention uh, on the things that are important. You're getting, um, uh, you know, your um, your goals and your aims back uh, in alignment. So, you know, whatever this family situation was, whatever the Ten of Pentacles, this could be the legal ending, your, you know, a, um, a decision being made from a legal point of view. But it's also you focusing your willpower, focusing your strength, and coming out of a difficult situation by uh, refocusing your goals. So you're coming out of something really important or something that was very, very uh, difficult. You're learning how to uh, refocus your energies. And also, you're ending a lot of cycles with this particular read. It looks like you've got a lot of tens over here. You've got that ten of pentacles over here. You've got the ten of cups coming out of an emotional difficulty. And you've got that ten of wands. So you have, you know, you're sorting yourself out. And it's because of what you're doing, uh, not what anybody else is telling you. And you've got that emperor, and that's taking that control back again. The emperor card is also about legal decisions as well. It is a card ruled by Archangel Michael who rules the legal system. So you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to come through as well. So you've got that justice and that legal system. And it seems like once that, you know, maybe this is the thing that is causing you to, uh, you know, think a lot about the past. Maybe you're waiting for that particular legal decision to come through with these two cards. So you are waiting for some legal uh, issue to be sorted out. Um, and uh, from then, uh, that's once that is sorted out, the cycle will end. <coughs> and you will be able to move on. So I'm using the Guardian Angel Tarot as the um, Oracle read, and it says the Guardian of Abundance, and this is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future, and make sure that you accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. So you are going to be getting some success and a lot of abundance is coming in for you. This card advises that if there's an um, unexpected job opportunity coming your way, you need to accept that particular job. And then you've got review and contemplation over here, which says you have accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. So now is the time to decide what is to do next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you will get clear of your divine purpose. Don't be distracted 
by conventional thinking and be the real you. So you need to walk your own path and do your own thing and not worry what anybody else has got to say. It's also a time for you to do some kind of life review and look at what you want out of life. And it's important you make your decisions based on what you want. And then the last card is the Go Within card, which says you are a very intuitive person and there are very uh, many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation and prayer. There is no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So it's time for you to trust your intuition and do what makes you happy and don't do what makes other people happy. So um, you need to go within and focus on your own goals, focus on your own personal power. And this is what this emperor is doing. He's focusing on his own goals, his own personal power, finding the thing that gives him the authority. And that is what he's going to use to get over the situation. So where you were at a point where you were at a complete loss, now is the time for you to go within, find all those skills, and use them to manifest everything that you want. You have everything that you need to be able to sort things out. And if you focus with this hermit card, this is also about going within, it looks like you will be able to sort things through. You might need a little bit of advice, you might need some spiritual advice or a little bit, and but that will come your way. And you can see even here, even to get through whatever, uh, if you're going through a legal situation, all you need to do is focus your mind and, you know, be very clear in your thinking, be very, very logical, don't get emotional. And this is the thing that's going to get you through this particular situation. But it looks like things are about to end uh, all that difficulty is about to end right now, and you are at that, you know, you are at that point where now, from now onwards, things will start getting better. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you, and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.